Ah yes, another one of those videos where I'm talking about something that is of absolutely no use to me but might be of use to some of you. So, what is this about? Well, yesterday we got an update, update 31.1 to be more specific, and with that update came a bunch of new augments. One of those augments being Biting Frost for Frost. Now, this is unlike most augments in the game in that it is passive, it simply increases your crit chance and crit damage against frozen enemies. And I immediately went, that's really good, because the most reliable way to freeze enemies with frost is with avalanche, and avalanche is already really good. I think a lot of people tend to forget how good avalanche actually is, not only does it have the icy avalanche augment, which is a fantastic defensive augment that makes you basically immortal if you use it right, but it also strips enemy armor. When you free something with avalanche, its armor is reduced and the amount of armor reduction is determined by your power strength, going all the way up to full armor strip at 250%. So when you combine that with the bonus crit chance and damage you get from biting frost, you get a very spicy ability indeed. So here's the build, it's a bit scuffed, I didn't want to reform my frost for a build that I'm never going to use myself, but I just want to give you a general idea of what the build is like so you can perhaps rebuild it yourself and do it a little bit better. The most scuffed thing perhaps is the aura, I'm using rejuvenation because I have a D in there, but energy siphon would be significantly better here. Then we have power drift for a little bit of extra power strength since we want to get as much as possible, primed continuity for some duration so the enemies stay frozen for a decent amount of time, transient fortitude for strength stretch for some extra range and umbrella intensify to bring our strength all the way up to 210 percent this unfortunately doesn't give us full armor strip but it is close enough after that we have biting frost which gives us the crit chance and crit damage against frozen enemies this is what we're building around here then we have streamline for efficiency as well as boreal hatred for some additional efficiency as well as a little bit of shield capacity now the final mod here would ideally be Icy Avalanche, because that just gives you the best kind of defense you can get on Frost Prime since you're going to be using Avalanche a lot, so you would constantly be stacking that shield, but since I didn't want to reform my Frost, I ended up going with Adaptation instead. So if you're going to go hard, take out Adaptation and put in Icy Avalanche instead. Though this is of course up to you, if you feel like you're doing just fine with shield gating, Boreal's hatred and the fact that you're freezing stuff with Avalanche, you can actually put in more strength. So all in all, with this build, Avalanche costs 55 energy to cast, it does a decent amount of damage, it has a radius of 21.75 meters, which is very nice, it freezes the enemies for 10.2 seconds, reduces their armor by 84% and the explosion is decent as well. And now I will shut up and let you enjoy the Simulacrum Showdown. Now, up until now, I've just been using corrosive weapons. Let's try a viral slash weapon instead, something like the Strum Prime, which um, unsurprisingly just one-shots everything, be it bombards or heavy gunners, it just doesn't matter. It is very, very spicy indeed. I didn't even pick like the most appropriate weapons, I just picked some random weapons that had some crit. So yeah, this build is actually pretty spicy and can do some serious, serious damage, though the thing that bothers me about it is that there is not an awful lot of defense. You freeze people, you have shield gating and you have some shields. That's about it. That for me is just no bueno. But who knows, maybe it'll be good enough for you or you'll just figure out a better way to squeeze in some defense. And that's pretty much all there is to say about it, so I thank you very much for watching as always guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Bye bye.